Hello dear students, welcome to Exiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2018 and we are doing this problem 7 of your paper. So it's a problem of a general aptitude. Let us have a look. Election result of a city which contains three segment A, B and C are given in the table. Percentage votes obtained by parties X, Y and Z are also shown which party won the election. So we have to find out which party won the election. That means we have to find out total number of votes. All right, total number of votes for every parties. Uh, sorry, for every parties. And then the, the party which have maximum number of vote will win the election. All right. So now see, we have to find out total votes for party x this is what we have to find out then we have to find out total vote for party y and then similarly for the z now see from the uh, segment votes from segment this thing will be equal to votes from segment a plus votes from segment b plus votes from segment C. All right, so we have this thing now. Now let us try to calculate vote from segment A. So see, this is what we are getting. 30% of total voting, 40% of total voting and 30% of total voting. So from the segment A, we are getting how many votes? 30% of the total voting in segment A. And from the segment B, we are getting 40% of total voting in segment B. So 30% of total voting actually means 30 by 100 multiplied with total voting. So what is total number of voting? It is 60% of this 2 lakh. So it will be 60 by 100 multiplied with 2 lakh. Are you getting my point or not? The same thing we can do for the remaining. See, this is what we are getting. 60% of 2 lakh, 70% of 2, 2 lakh 50,000 and 80% of 3 lakh, 3 lakh are the total number of voting from section A, B and C. So we are finding out it's 30%, 40% and 30% again. So now let us calculate. So see this thing that it is, uh, if you will calculate all of this, you will get 1,78,000. So 1,78,000 are the total votes. All right, total votes for the party X. Now, they, the, now the same thing you will do for the party Y. So if I replace this y with Y, so what is the percentage of voting for Y? 30% of this 60. So this thing will be same. Now 30%, so this thing instead of 40, this is going to be uh, 30 now, all right? 30%. And instead of this uh, 30, you are going to have 40%. All right, the same thing will work. Now let us calculate all of this up. Now see that you are getting 1,84,000, all right? 500 for the party y 184500 for the party y this is for x this is for y now let us calculate for the z so calculations are a little big so if you'll calculate for z you have to replace instead of 30 you're going to have 40 percent here so this thing will be 40 now this thing will be 30 all right so let me correct this one also it will be so all right so it is correct i think yeah so this thing i have to change this thing will be 30 so 40 30 40 30 okay now let us calculate so see we will get 1 lakh 500 from this one so 1 lakh 500 for the z so clearly y is getting more uh, more number of votes than x and z that is why your answer y will be true all right 
so y will win the election because it has more number of votes and all other remaining options will be false so this is how we can actually solve this problem if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you